Bud Light's parent company, Anheuser-Busch, is facing massive losses after its controversial partnership with transgender activist and influencer Dylan Mulvaney. The beer giant has, been, has seen its market value plummet nearly $5 billion since announcing the partnership with Dylan, a decision which was reportedly made without input from senior executives. Hmm, can we fact check that? <laughs> and just days before the partnership went public, Bud Light's vice president of marketing outlined her plan to drastically overhaul the brand's image. So I had this super clear mandate. It's like we mm -hmm. need to evolve and elevate this incredibly iconic brand. What does evolve and elevate mean? It means inclusivity. It means shifting the tone. We had this hangover. I mean, Bud Light had been kind of a brand of fratty, kind of out of touch humor. And it was really important <laughs> that we had another approach. Why do these people on the left like <laughs> redefine words? Elevate, elevate, you get into an elevator. Elevate means rise. Evolve <laughs> means you grow. It doesn't necessarily mean what she said. You know, this is not a D-E-N-I moment necessarily, but here's what's interesting. How could all of that be going on on a Zoom and not one single senior executive knew that the whole company, Anheuser-Busch, was about to make an image switch? Hmm. So here's, this is why, how, why the DEI stuff is so corrosive. So this is a marketing manager for a beer company, and she thinks her job is to evolve and elevate and raise and re increase inclusivity. The job of a, she's a beer salesman. The job of a marketing manager at Budweiser is to sell Budweiser. And so the, the question should be in the marketing meeting, is this going to sell more beer or is this going to hurt our beer sales? And the fact that nobody was willing to raise that question, why is that? because maybe they'd be labeled transphobic, because maybe they, they, their words would create a hostile work environment. This is the, right now, LinkedIn says, the second fastest growing job in America is DEI manager. Hmm. That means that every co major company in America is hiring a political commissar whose job is to promote inclusivity and push down the people who would say, this might be a dumb idea. Our, our, this is not necessarily our demographic. Mm -hmm. We've got to sell beer. And you've got all these young people who want to work for social justice organizations, but they don't want social justice organization salaries. She's making $450,000. Go, you know, quit your job, take a pay cut, and go work for social justice if that's what you want to uh, do. Otherwise, sell beer. Cara, where are all these people getting all this experience in a lane that just kind of popped up out of the woke sky? Uh, I think they're <laughs> grifters, and they're opportunists, and they see dollar signs, and they said, oh, yeah, I could, I could do something like that. Like Justin Pearson, you know, one of the Tennessee Three. He was a, a clean-cut young man talking about bipartisanship and now he's uh, some uh, person who's just emoting from a podium. And it, it, I mean, well, he might have been less than that if they hadn't canceled him. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> they started the fire. What I think is so funny, too, is that inclusivity, inclusivity means cutting out women, cutting out the fairer sex. I mean, my womanhood <laughs> is not a costume. Why are you letting men do what, women's jobs? And this comes on the heels of, you know, we, we played sports. I played sports in college. Uh, I played soccer. And you have 40 athletes signing a, a, a document saying don't ban trans kids. I mean, we're, women are actually fighting for our ability to have a normal childhoods and you know those normal experiences that we did when I was growing up. They're pulling up the ladder behind him. Doesn't make sense. Hmm. Um, your husband, former Major League Baseball player, might have some feelings in your household about this. What do you guys think about, about like the whole idea of, I mean, because that experience at games has to do with imbibing a bit for some. Yes, um, my husband's not a big imbiber, I, I will say, uh, though I encourage him to at times. Um, but, but anyway, yes. So putting, putting that aside, um, it just befuddles me that companies do this, and it's everywhere in industry. It's in sports. It's yeah. in beer now. Uh, Disney, foxnews.com had a great write-up about Disney's brand. I mean, Disney's job, to your point, Mark, is to make movies. Like, Encanto's a great yeah. movie. Frozen's a great movie. Moana. But then they venture into this territory of trying to change kids' minds like Disney Plus putting out something that talked denouncing Abraham Lincoln mm -hmm. talking about white fragility well they lost 2.4 million subscribers this is the consequence of getting into that territory mm -hmm. yep. Yeah. You know, in law, we have a concept, void for vagueness. And to me, the issue in part is because no one can even define that. So while everyone is trying to appoint a, a diversity and inclusion officer, 
how then are they going to ensure that the specificity that most of us operate under will be applied there? So the reason there was such a disconnect between the senior level at Bud Light and hers, because she's like, oh, inclusivity, got it. And then I'm gonna go in and get this person that's the total opposite of what everyone wants to see on a beer can. Meanwhile, the senior executives are patting themselves on the back. Oh, she's totally gonna nail it. Cut to the whole world turns their back. So this level, the, the lack of specificity, the lack of definition in this whole murky new territory of being woke, no wonder, as you said, it's so corrosive. And unfortunately, it's not just the corporate sector, it's really in our government too. Hmm. Yeah. And sports. Yep. Yep. Yeah, everywhere. That yeah. was so beautiful. Totally. Put. That's exactly yeah. right. Yep. Hey everyone, I'm Emily Campagno. Catch me and my co-host Harris Faulkner and Kaylee McEnany on Outnumbered every weekday at 12 p.m. Eastern or set your DVR. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page for daily highlights.